Good afternoon, it's Lee Cassidy from Tactile Technology and I'm uh, doing our Friday's uh, regular at 3 o'clock which is Vicada Friday. So Vicada, if you're not familiar with Vicada, um, is the guys who originally set up Meraki out of MIT and built out the first uh, cloud managed uh, Wi-Fi, then switching and firewall uh, based solutions. Uh, this was sold then to Cisco a number of years ago for far a large amount of money and um, what they did was go off and start again and what they wanted to do is build out a a very different approach to security cameras and access control so what i've got today is a vicada um, bullet cam for you to see so originally all the cameras were dome cameras so there were dome cameras that were giving you a, an adjustable camera giving you up to 120 degree vision or you could have a, um, a fisheye lens but you know the bullet cams are quite popular these days. Gives you some some really directional piece. Uh, you know people can actually understand which direction they're pointing from. Um, you know, put people off being in a certain area. But I think the other thing was the technology that's been put into it around HDR. So we're quite familiar with HDR in our TVs nowadays. So when we're watching our film and getting the colours to pop and making it uh, much more visual. Uh, using HDR in a security cam really brings out the, the colours in the, the background area and also foreground area if you've got a vehicle passing that's of a particular colour it stands out much better as well so what I'm going to do is show you um, it I've already opened the box so it's not a proper unboxing but uh, I'm going to go through and show you the components of the camera how it all fits together and then I'm going to show you some examples of the camera as well so I'll just drop to my uh, dual view so you can see the box and myself at the same time so here we can see the box nice sturdy box uh, quite heavy um, if we get it the right way around start in fact I think it was the right way around to start with and what we've got to do is um, pull out from the bottom so it hooks in at the bottom and there we can see our bullet cam so very modern looking camera with the uh, Vicada logo on the side you can see the mounting bracket so this comes off uh, with the four screws mounts onto the wall and then we fit it back onto there you can see the cable uh, runs through there and to get this apart, uh, what we need to do is uh, there's normally two screws in here, one one side, one in the other. I've taken them out just to speed up the process. These are security screws as well, so you can't use a standard screwdriver to do it. And what we have to do is then unscrew it. Sure, it's going to be too tight for screw straight away. Started. Quite tight because it is um, a you know, waterproof camera, so it needs to be tightened. A good seal on there. But once we've got to a certain point, the actual cover comes off. So there's the cover itself, you know, and the um, aperture at the end where the actual camera uh, vision component fits through. And then what we've got is the camera itself. See from the side, there's a cutaway in it where the cable comes through. So through the the rear, and then through there's actually um, a waterproof grommet there. Screw that. Move it, you can see that. So, blue metal piece, and we've got this like compression which does split. So, you can actually take out a plastic from it, a bit fiddly to do. I, I'd love to believe me, but uh, there's a cut in the, in the side there, which means that opens out, and you can put it around the cable and then. Bring the cable through, tightly it up, and we can see and get a good angle for it. Got the um, Ethernet connection, so we can connect it back. Some of these cameras themselves don't need a uh, network or a uh, digital recorder. They actually record locally. So inside this one, there's 30 days worth of storage. You can go up to uh, much higher levels. Uh, with the bullet cams, I think the maximum at the moment is 120 days. But um, some of the other cameras you can get 365 days, so quite a lot, you know, uh, on a on a single camera. But one of the clever things about it is the um, uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning that's actually done internally with the CPU and the software inside the camera. So each camera, as it's looking at images, it's actually working out whether that's a person, whether that's a vehicle, if you've told it to look for that, 
and, and also um, getting specific details about them. So if it's people, it's looking at uh, whether they look male or female, if they've got a backpack on, uh, and also looking at the clothing. So what's the color of the clothing at the top of the body and the clothing at the bottom of the body? So you can actually look for that, as well as actually um, mapping the face so that if you actually um, wanted to search multiple people who look the same, you can actually do that quite simply as well. Uh, with vehicles, it's also identifying the make of the vehicle, so whether it's a Porsche or a Ford, and also uh, you can actually specify the type of vehicle. So you can say, you know, tell me all the saloon cars, all the estate cars, all the um, you know four by four SUV type cars, and it'll pick those out as well, as well as the color. So you can say a particular type of vehicle and a color, or a particular model of vehicle and a color. It'll find all those for. So really straightforward. So we'll put this back together uh, quickly, and then what I'll do is um, is show you what these things look like. So just going to drop cable wheel back in. So we've got that. I won't screw it up. I'll just put it back in the box. So at least you've seen uh, the build quality. It, it is an amazingly uh, well built camera. Very sturdy uh, uh, unit. Bit back in the box. And Yeah, there we go. Uh, there's also um, an angle mount here, so we can adjust it. So if it's on a wall, we can adjust the angle and we can twist it round so we can get it to the right position with horizontal. Quite easy. Inside the box is also all the mounting screws and all the uh, tools you need to to fit it as well. So got everything you need to get sorted. So let's show you what it looks like a little bit. So. What I've got on the screen is a number of um, CB The top left one uh, is one that's actually in London, and we can see the colours in here, bright colours have been picked up. And these other uh, are out in uh, California, in uh, San Francisco. But um, if we click on any one of the cameras, it'll tell us a little bit more about the image, so we can actually see the time and, and everything, the local time there. Uh, can't see the local time that one. Oh, we've got a, a picture in San Francisco. I think we're just going to have a, a, a train must have just gone through because the barriers have just come up, so we just missed that. But uh, you, know, you can see the the colours are quite vivid on these cameras, so you can see them nice and clearly on there. You know, a very good picture quality, and we can see that a bit more closely now. There's a, a Deliveroo guy just uh, zipping past, going to do a collection, I'm guessing. So a really clear picture uh, you get with these. And um, you know, with the, uh, the ability to look for people and vehicles, it makes it really simple if you're looking to find out uh, if a particular vehicle type has been there or set up notifications and it, for it to alert you for either vehicles or people in a particular area as well. So um, I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm getting a little bit of an interference from my uh, my phone saying there's uh, movement on one of my cameras, um, a notification. So quite appropriate, really, that um, we've got that. Um, there seems to be a lot of delivery drivers in London at the moment, so a lot of people wandering around. So really, really clear picture. And uh, if I uh, go over to cameras here, we can actually find the cameras just by the type. So. If we type in here CB, we can see all the the um, CB cameras that are positioned around, and we can jump to any one of those CB cameras just by clicking on it. And this is one of the ones that uh, is out in uh, the US in San Francisco. Like I said at the bottom here, we've got this AI component that's actually done on the camera, so we can look for people. So it's actually going to pick out all the people it's seen, so we get facial images of everyone it's seen we can see then over that period of time all the people it's seen uh, even at night time so there's a um, nighttime vision using infrared on the camera and if you wanted to pick a particular person say this gentleman here with the uh, stylish moustache um, we can click on uh, it's no he must have been around prior to uh, the time range I've got at the moment so it's beyond the time range we've Again, we can do the same thing with vehicles. Click on vehicles and it'll identify all the vehicles it's seen. We can see there's a red mini over here. 
So if we wanted to look just for minis, what we can do is click on this and put in a particular make. So if I put in mini, it's going to come up with an option, apply that, it's going to find all the minis it's seen. So we've seen a few different minis of different colours, white, black, green, uh, gold colour, blue and, and red. So quite a few different minis. And if we click on any of them, so this one's a quite nice stylish uh, blue mini. And uh, we click on there and it's going to line up uh, the, the footage at that point in time that mini arrived and then it'll play it through once that um, clip has been aligned. Let's just for it to get itself ready and as soon as it's uh, sorted itself out it'll start. As you can see the colours are very vivid on these using HDR. A really clear picture. So whatever you're looking for, you're going to see it really clearly. Even scroll through that foot. So another thing that you can do with the cameras as well is uh, you can actually look to the uh, some of these and scrub through the images at the bottom as well so as you move through them they actually move on there's one of our minis there picture there so you know really clear picture with these um, bullet cams um, we can also fit these into different units we were looking inside a, a very specialized lighting unit uh, uh, the other day and we can actually fit them inside because they're quite um, small in size so they'll fit inside um, you know different uh, equipment if you want to fit them inside alternatively you can fit them on the outside on a power mount or a wall mount and, and adjust them um, anyway that's me for today so hopefully you find that interesting seeing the um, Ricardo bullet cam and also the quality of the image you get with it thank you very much